Good evening, everybody, and welcome. Thanks for joining us on LRSDD TV. We are here tonight for the Boston Pizza MHSAA Manitoba High School Athletic Association 4A Varsity Boys Championship between the number seven ranked Vincent Massey Trojans and the number one ranked Westgate Wings. I'm Grant McManus. I'll be bringing you the play-by-play -play and providing color commentary and insights into the game as Cam Johnson. Hi, Grant. Uh, off the heels of a good uh, varsity girls final here. We're excited to get the boys game off uh, off and running here too. Two uh, great teams. Uh, and a little bit different uh, if you're just joining us. Uh, you know, Final Four typically happening on a, on a Wednesday and Thursday night, yeah. uh, a couple days, and then the final on the Monday. But this year's a little bit different, uh, having all Final Four games, uh, so the semifinals, played uh, throughout the day today. And then we find ourselves here with the last match of the day, the, uh, the boys for a yeah. uh, final. A little bit uh, behind time, a couple, couple matches went uh, went a little longer yep. than uh, expected but uh, we're here now and excited to get started absolutely and how do these teams get here well vincent massey they played the last semi and they defeated the college on sauve olympians in a uh, a battle to the end going in five sets so uh their tank could be a little bit empty but the excitement of playing in the provincial championship might counteract a little bit of that and then westgate wings number one all year clearly the number one uh, favorite team they defeated the steinbach sabers in four in the uh, earlier semifinal, so uh, they're looking to carry their record through. They came in with uh, an unblemished record at 28-0 coming into last weekend's regional championships, and Vincent Massey coming in at 15 and 17. So, on on paper, um, you know, it is what it is. But at the end of the day, you got to win it on the floor. Yeah, so. yeah, that's why we play the games <laughs> here. Yeah. yeah, a lot of great players on yes. the uh, Westgate uh, side of things. Um, Lorianne. Uh, uh, Ludwig been uh, part of this this team. Uh, I understand talking a little bit with some of the parents and the players here, uh, right from grade seven, so the grade twelve. Really put in a lot of a lot of time with this group here, and uh, and now here they find themselves in uh, their grade twelve year, yeah, uh, competing for the for the banner. Yeah, they've got uh, three of the uh, coaches' top ten uh, players, uh, which we'll get to uh, in a little bit, and then uh, Vincent Massey has an honorable mention. So. Uh, congratulations to those players, but like you said, uh, you know, this is what they've worked so hard for, not only this year, but really over the last two years, because there wasn't a high school season last year, and really, for those of you that are in the, the club seasons, they train, but there really wasn't any competition there, so uh, these players are really champing at the bit, as they say, to, uh, you know, experience a provincial championship. Uh, we're going to try our very best for those of you that are watching, because, you uh, uh, you know, as much as we would love to have you uh, in the stands cheering on your uh, your family members and your sons and uh, earlier your daughters, uh, you know, these are the situations that we put in. So, um, you know, we're pleased to be part of the LRSD TV uh, broadcast and uh, hope we can do uh, justice to uh, the players' efforts out here tonight. Yeah, and you'll see, uh, I, I'm sure if you haven't already tuned into an LRSD TV situation, you'll see that uh, it's really high quality and it's not the only thing that they do broadcast. We'll talk a little bit yeah. more about that uh, later in the in the match as well, but uh, we're just about ready to get going here. Yeah, the players are lining up in the end lines, the officials are coming out to take up their spots, and we're going to turn it over to the house announcer for uh, the opening. So. Volleyball Championships. The boys final this evening is between the number seven seed Vincent Massey Trojans and the number one seed Westgate Wings. Please rise for the playing of O Canada.
The MA Chesta Bole acknowledges that the land which we gather is Treaty 1 territory and the traditional territory of the Shinabe and an ever Cree and Dakota peoples and homeland of the Metis Nation. With this acknowledgement, we demonstrate respect for Indigenous peoples and communities and we celebrate a renewed relationship with one another moving forward. Now let's meet the teams. The visitors on the scoreboard, the seventh ranked Vincent Massey Trojans. Number two, Ben Goyot. Number four, Jonathan Krantz. Number seven, Ethan Mariano. Number 12, Kieran McKee. Number eight, Robert Patence. Number five, Jared Pua. And number 13, Trace Vargara. And now the starting lineup for the Trojans. Number 11, Luke Carlson. Number 14, Uday Kathar. Number 15, Derek Fazy. Number one, Cole McCune, McKean. Number nine, Ryland Torts. Number 10, Caleb Thiessen. And number eight, Darius White. Assistant coaches, Ethan Singh, Daniel Nadu, and Sam Rudy. Head coach, Marshall Lawrence. Marshall Jones, pardon me. Marshall Jones. Marshall Jones. <laughs> and now the, uh, the, the roster for the number one seed, Westgate Wings. Number nine, Cruz Carrera. Number two, Carter Sigel. Number 18, Will Sigel. Number 16, Logan Harms. Number 12, Kalen Friesen. And number 28, Micah Dick. And now the starting lineup for the Wings. Number five, Dylan Martins. Number eight, Nolan Groen. Number six, Caleb Neufeld. Number 17, Jonas McKenzie. Number 22, Harry Enns. Number 13, Rowan Cron. And number 14, Sammy Ludwig. Assistant coach, Lorianne Ludwig, and head coach, Maya Westwood. Officials for this match, line judges, Kyle Turcott and David Javonin. Oh, all right, folks, we were just wrapping up the introductions of the starting lineups, and now we will be introducing our officials, and then the players will return to their benches, and then we will be underway with the 2021 Manitoba High School Athletics Association 4A Boston Pizza Provincial Championship Volleyball Match. So some of the keys to this, uh, this match here as we look at some of the starting lineups that are uh, coming up for the uh, on the Westwood side of things, a pretty well polished team. Uh, you know, in, earlier in the day, we saw Sam Lubick be able to throw the ball around uh, really well. Lots of offensive options yeah. with Rowan Cron and, uh, and Dylan Martins being able to, uh, uh, you know, certainly bring a lot of power. But uh, Harrison ends, no one gone, uh, also doing uh, and, jo and, uh, uh, and Jonas doing everything they can, you know, to make a really powerful attack coming at you on the uh, on the other side of things. On the flip side here, uh, Massey uh, in a, in a five-set match as well, really strong uh, uh, that we saw through the through the middle uh, in that first uh, that first set. Uh, you know, number 14, Uday Chada for sure, uh, a big a big presence uh, in the middle, and uh, we saw a lot of uh, um, a lot of strong attack from the middle position here yeah. as we uh, we get set to go. So it'll be interesting to see how, how Massey deals with a pretty powerful attack and serve game coming at them. And uh, on the other side of things, 
uh, you know, Westgate being uh, a heavily favored number one, but, uh, um, you know, it's not going to be an easy match here right off the get-go, and uh, both teams will look for a quick start. Right, so back on the service line is uh, Caleb Neufeld, Neufeld to start the, uh, the match here for the Westgate Wings. And again, you'll have uh, lots of camera angles, you'll have replays, so uh, I hope you enjoy the broadcast, folks. And there we go, as you said, trying to establish that middle, but uh, just a little short arm for him and out the back door, so. Yeah, now I was walking on the floor and I was walking by uh, Derek, <laughs> and uh, up here he's a big guy, but down there when you're wa right beside him, he's that much bigger, yeah. so that's a big force to contend with at the net. Yeah. Yeah, and that'll certainly be the, the matchup is uh, Harrison Ems uh, and uh, there's Martin with the attack. A roll shot to the middle. Great dig by the libero. That's Nolan gone. Big swing there, but there's that uh, net front presence there by uh, Harrison Ems. I was very impressed with him in the, uh, in the semifinal. Yeah. Uh, big presence on defense, but he also put an awful lot of balls away uh, on offense too. So, nice set by uh, the Massey setter to get a single on the outside, and uh, yeah, Carlson made no uh, no mistake about that yeah. one. So, first couple points of this set here, we're looking at a lot of uh, high hitting uh, and hard hitting action to uh, start the match. Yeah. There's the pass. Look to go short cross with that one, Harris, but he put it into the net. Off a little uh, 31 off of that pass. Scores tied at two. Yeah, might have got a little overzealous there. He was yeah. <laughs> trying to go down, but straight, straight down. Martins with the high reach into the back row. Again, perspective, as you said. You know, they look like, you know, Jules, or uh, young Martin, Dylan, Jules is his dad on the bench, Dylan, but uh, yeah. Dylan goes, uh, tips the scale at 6'6", six, six, so when we say he's reaching high, he's reaching high. Yeah. Good vision there by the middle. Derek Feezy earns himself a spot back on the service line. Westgate has three swings up front with the setter in the back row. Oh, no, sorry, Ludwig's in the front row. Yeah. So again, firepower, as you said, with the, uh, the Westgate wings, they've got three players in the top ten. Number one is Sam Ludwig, number one rated player in the province. At uh, number two is Rowan Cron on the outside. Uh, number five is Dylan Martins, also on the left side. And then they also had an honorable mention with Harrison Ammons. So uh, lots of firepower and, op and options for uh, Ludwig in the setting position. Yeah, and speaking of firepower, uh, Ryland Torres, pardon me, uh, inside out shot on the right there with good pace on the ball and uh, was able to score to bring it back for Massey here. Now Westgate has uh, three swings up with Ludwig back on the service line. He'll come at them with a jump spin serve. Off the pace, well taken by the libero. Good communication, good hustle there. Some good, uh, some good scrambly play there yeah. too, right? They're gonna when you're hitting the ball hard and serving the ball hard, you're gonna be out of system a little bit. And uh, both teams doing a good job of being able to uh, keep the ball off the floor and, uh, and earn their point. Well, that goes to McKenzie. Little tip there from uh, Carlson inside off the hands for the point. Back on the service line, we've got number eight. That's Darius White. That's uh, Rowan Cron. We were commenting earlier how quick his release is. 
Yeah, he's got a very, very quick hand. Very fast arm swing and uh, pretty compact, which makes it really difficult to tell where he's hitting, if he's going yeah. line or cross court or yeah. back door or just what. He's got a real snap finish. Yeah. Good play there by Dylan Martins, and then he kicks quickly back outside. Big block there. New day shot out there. Yep. Block and enjoying every moment of <laughs> yeah. it too. He did a good job there, though. He did. Fronting, uh, of fronting uh, McKenzie on the uh, mm -hmm. Westgate side and was able to get his hands over and, uh, and get the block for a point. Martins with the pass. Big swing. Yeah, Westgate big thought it was in, but uh, it was out. Just out, yeah. And yeah. We, I, that was a tough spot for him to uh, to go because he turned it towards the line. He was already hitting that 30 ball there, so he didn't have a whole lot of room. Martins with the swing off of hands. Chata with the big dig. Good attempt there by Carlson, but uh, just a little bit short. Well, you know your team's in it when the middles are diving up and getting yes. the first contact, you know? That's pretty good. McKenzie with the serve. Carlson with the pass. Beasy with the tip over. Nice second ball there by uh, Rowan Cron. Out to his buddy, Dylan Martins, for the kill. Yeah, he did a good job there hitting over a little bit of uh, size differential at the net. You know, as uh, Massey's block McQueen uh, set her, yeah. putting up a little bit smaller block for Martin on that particular play and was able to hit back door. That was a good line shot. Yeah, I think Massey was looking for maybe a, a touch, touch call, yeah. there, but uh, we got officials all over the place and we're yeah. going to talk about it for a second here. They'll get it, they'll get it. Right? I'm just going to talk to the camera for you just about making sure that, uh, well, they want to get a good perspective. They're not far enough off the court that yeah. uh, we're not going to get a collision. Yeah. Pass there by Carlson. Easy goes to uh, five for the kill. Yeah, so like we said early on there, the strengths, uh, the ultimate strengths of this Massey team come out of the middle, and the more they're able to establish it, they'll be able to open yeah. it up for other guys uh, as well. So lots of pressure on the passes, and so far they're uh, they're making the grade. Yeah. Off the touch there, another good set by uh, Rowan Cron. By Cron to Martins there, yeah. yeah and it, they make it look easy, you know, they've done that, obviously they've done that yes. hundreds if not thousands of times, yeah. and I'm sure they've done it on the beach, and you know, yeah. so, but really th that, that's a position, Kron taking it from position six, turning around and doing yeah. a full circle and setting it outside and getting that attack is uh, well done. Not quite in his wheelhouse, but uh, Carlson makes the adjustment and uh, comes up with the kill. Yeah, I think part of the success of that attack was he came in so hard on his approach that it, you know, Westgate yeah. picking up those little those little cues and dug in for the big shot, and he, he had to adjust and was able to be successful because of that uh, intention on his attack. Tight to the net for Ludwig, but uh, great tee ball set, and then uh, Harrison ends, uh, puts it to bed, so. Probably shouldn't use that reference. I might start getting a little droopy here, Cam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've been here all day. That's right. Well, luckily it's we been exciting, a, though. It's yeah, been good. I was going to say, been luckily, we've got an 11-10 game here in the last game of the night. Yeah. Oh. Clean up on aisle 22, as they say, with Harrison Enns putting the uh, the over bump away. Yeah, I haven't that one out yet. Today. No, I've been that's, waiting. Uh, I've been there waiting. we go. Yeah. Brought to you by Harry Enns. There you go. Yeah. Carlson with the set outside. So our left side's not scared to take that second contact. Oh, that's a tough, tough swing there for uh, for Ryland Torres. Yeah, that's yeah. a that's a, the second shot that he's had that that you know is coming inside out and it's from, yeah. uh, from an awkward angle, but he's able to uh, still use the block to his advantage and get the point. Yeah, full credit. Easy with the serve. Oh. 
A little bit of traffic congestion. But before that, uh, number eight, Darius White, White with the pass. A, he did a pass and yeah. swung out and had a, a yeah. great job keeping what could have been uh, a point for Westgate outside the antenna. Yeah. And he brought it in and made a great play on that one. But uh, yeah, you get a sense of uh, you know the timing on those 51s. You know, he's in the air and the setter puts the ball right in his hands. Yeah. Yeah. They're so far they're clicking. Both teams are playing pretty yeah. clean here. It's uh, points are coming off for well-executed plays and not so much errors. Out to White there. Oh. Last time he didn't, didn't, Brian didn't quite get it uh, nope. as high as he would have liked, but he's swinging hard at the ball. Yeah. I mean, lots of coaches, have, I remember from way back, <laughs> the harder you hit, good things happen, you know. Harry ends back to serve now. Pass by White. Whoa. Good effort there by Cron, but uh, just couldn't pull that one back into play. Yeah, I'd be curious to know how, how high Cron is touching there, because he went to play that ball, and I think his hand was at <laughs> close to the top of the antenna yeah, trying to bring uh, it back. Good dig there by Torres. Tours off that exchange. Braun comes in, puts it away off of the block. Again, a good extended rally there. Yeah, Solid that's, that's play on both sides. That's a strength of Massimus too. Just in a few games that I've seen him play in here a little bit uh, online through the season is that they, they keep the ball off the floor and they do extend rallies. And uh, if you're playing against them, you got to be patient. Yeah. So you might not score on the first or sometimes even the second attack. You got to outweigh them a little bit there, and uh, scrappy we would consider that, wouldn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. They're already ready for senior men's volleyball. <laughs> no play continuance there. Well, and there's the uh, reciprocal set from uh, Martin back out to the other side to Cron. Yeah, we Going to position uh, yeah, we went two. Yeah, one, one, one to four yeah. to Martin, and that time they flipped, the, flipped it around, like you said, and they went five to two. Great execution. Yeah. That's good high ball management for sure. Oh, good extra reach there by Dylan Martins. That's 6-6 six, six frame. swing there yeah I think yep. uh, Dylan probably would have liked to have had a little bit more snap on that but that's a tough angle and he's hitting hard and like I was saying on the Massey side of things they're keeping the ball in play and yeah. they're forcing Westgate to have to execute on their side and uh, they're keeping it close 16-15 here in a first set oh he will want that serve sort of back yeah well, we talked about it in the girls' match, too, and all through the day today, how serving, uh, the missed serves are kind of, no coach likes to see them, for sure, but yeah. it's it's kind of part of the game when you're trying to serve hard. Yeah. Especially against a team like Westgate that does oh. have so much firepower. <laughs> Speaking of firepower, Wow, though, can he bring it? That was, uh, yeah. there was yeah. a lot of rip on that one by Darius White. Yeah. My goodness. Oh, that, no, was, uh, Luke that was uh, Luke Carlson. Yeah. And that's that's what happens when you can establish your middle as well, and you keep passing the ball well. Is you you'll you'll have more opportunities, and your left sides can really take a good swing at the ball, like we saw right there. Carlson off hands, dug by the libero. Oh, cheeky play there by. Another strong attack oh, by Carlson. Yeah. yeah. He's having a good sequence through the front row right now for sure for Vincent Massey. 17's up on the board. You, know, you wonder what the uh, what it's like, right? Massey just played two hours ago. Yeah. And uh, Westgate had a little bit longer of a break today. It's a different sort of uh, final four to four. Yeah. 
Yeah, more, more like a tournament, like the other categories, yeah, like the single sure. double A, triple A experience, which are going across the province this weekend. So uh, we wish all the teams that are uh, playing in uh, provincial volleyball all the best of luck and safe travels because uh, those teams are yeah. traveling uh, in rural Manitoba and uh, we hope that the weather hasn't turned just yet. This is a uh, you know, tough time of the year you know, with the weather and these teams traveling. So. Yeah. Time out by Coach Marshall Jones for the Trojans. I think we'll be moving in as we did in the girls' matches to hear a little bit about what they have to say in their uh, yeah. timeout. Okay, the position five guys got to move in. Okay, and you got to stay deeper in the corner. You guys can't get mixed match there. Okay. Okay, and same thing in position one, you gotta stay higher on, on uh, rolling there, okay? Because he's gonna hit the ball sharp cross court. Okay, and we gotta block him more cross court there, Luke. Okay, ball shouldn't be, make him hit the ball line there. Okay, hey, keep serving the ball to position one. Okay, we serve the ball there into position one. We're getting some transition opportunities out of them, okay? Just gotta keep blocking them and keep transitioning the ball off, of, off defense. Okay, here we go, let's go, come on. Come on boys. All right, there you hear it. some good information from us. Yeah. From Marshall Jones, uh, Vincent Massey, head coach, and uh, what do you do against a team that has great players that are hitting the ball that hard, right? And that's that's kind of the difference from from this, you know, beginning levels to now you hit this varsity level and some really great players. Is you gotta you can't wait for errors, so you gotta try and force them into things, and that's what he's talking about. Let's serve to the toughest part on the the court uh, to receive as a setter. Hey, and then let's uh, let's put our bodies where we, we think they're going to hit and, and yeah. compete. Yeah, can't defend everything, so let's you know give ourselves let's, the best let's trust our scouting and and uh, where we can defend and then do the best we can. Well, setter uh, Sam Ludwig there making a good decision to uh, take matters in his own hands and uh, and dump the ball over the net himself for uh, for a point. We now have uh, number six Caleb Newfeld back for the serve for the wings. Great set by uh, the Vincent Massey set on McQueen. Carlson puts that away off the right side. Another example of getting isolation with yep. the middle uh, being set quite a yep. bit early in the set. Flips it back and uh, get an, an excellent uh, right side attack for a point. Keeping it close here, a two point spread now. Let's see if they can chip away on that. Matt Massey would like to close it to a one point set. And Westgate will take that yep. to make it a three point differential now. Yeah. Dylan Martin's back to serve. That puts uh, Cron Ludwig and ends up front. Great swing there by Feezy. Yeah, but again, it doesn't come without the good pass and the good shot. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and, uh, and a good choice too. They spread the block a little bit. Ludwig only got one hand in on that block, and he hit in between the seam of the two blockers. Well taken there by Carlson. Just up, there he goes. Darius White back into play, forcing Dylan to come across. A little cross body shot there by Cron. Well, you know what, the, uh, the budget doesn't really allow for a full uh, you know, stats package that nope. we get up here, but <laughs> if I was gonna guess here, um, you know, I'd say that uh, right now Carlson's a plus player. He's uh, doing it all, he's got some attacks, and on that last play, to start it all up, a good, uh, some good defense. Yeah. Now that was a good serve by Feezy to try and hold Cron from uh, jumping outside on the attack, but he's he's so quick. He's got a quick hand that we talked about, but he's got great footwork, and it was no problem for him to pass that ball and then get out and swing hard. Yeah, he's uh, he's a dynamic player for Ooh, sure, boy. and I'm sure that you know just him on the court and yeah. out there with him injects a lot of energy into whatever's going on. See yeah. him there again. They go back outside, but yeah. he just—he's uh, all energy and passion for the game. He, he just, certainly is. You can tell he loves—he loves, he loves uh, being out there and doing his thing. It's great to see. Yeah, and uh, so it'll be uh, him and his teammates Sam Ludwig that are uh, going to head to the Fort Erie campus of uh, U of M next year. They've made a commitment to uh, the men's program, the Bison volleyball program. So uh, we wish them well next year. It's going to be an interesting, you know, this year we were just talking earlier about it with uh, the lock of season last year and then so there was the 
youth sports, eligibility extended for a year, so now you get those 50 year players that would have been out, but they really get an extra year. Yeah. Plus coaches have a, an extra recruiting or almost a year and a half recruiting class coming in. So there's some pretty big rosters in new sports yeah. right now. So yeah. it's going to be a, a, certainly a challenge for these players coming in in the next couple of years because these rosters are so big to yeah. find some floor time. Yeah, like we were talking about earlier, there's going to be a lot of little ripples that yeah. are, are going to become uncovered in the years to come here. Yeah. Uh, just consequences of what this pandemic has done, but well, and you know, we talked about it. We just hope programs have uh, the long view in sight that they're not, uh, you know, shortening teams now at uh, you know that grade nine JV level because you know grade sevens and eights um, have virtually had no know, experience. They, 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 well, no experience, like not just playing the game, but they've never played volleyball period ever. That's so right. that's right. Martins with the back row. Again, another good extended play. Darius White going cross court. Ends with the dig. Ludwig with the free pass. The Queen sets middle. Big point for uh, yeah. Vincent Massey here to keep themselves in this set. Yeah. Good vision by Uday there. He's, uh, he knew the block was there and uh, defense was far enough off with the tip. He's feeling it right now. Yeah, that was a heck of a set though. And then, you know, when you look at the height of, uh, you know, Sam, I think he's what, 6'4", so he can elevate, but uh, yeah. you know, just great body control. Well, That's all it. right on the top you of the You can see it on, you just yeah. saw it on the replay there that it was a, a very good serve, but uh, these guys have handled the ball so much. Yeah. You know, Martin's uh, up to uh, the setter, no problem, and then execution outside. Nice job by Darius White, sneaking that one through the block. Yeah, the block was set up well yeah. there, and it's not a small block, but nope. he was able to uh, find his way past it and uh, score for a point. Finds his way back to serve now. We'll see what he can do, if he can yeah. bring it within one. Cron coming back at it from the other side of the net. Westgate takes that first set, 25-22. Oh, we'll head back uh, now in between sets and uh, take another look at some of the first set highlights here. The inside out stuff there on the right side like we talked about. Some good scramble plays that we see from the Westgate side of things.
All right, and we're back for the second set. Cam, you've got some information to share with us. Yeah, we hope that you're enjoying this LRS DTV production. And uh, not only do we bring you events like this, we're also broadcasting Winnipeg High School Championships, 4A Basketball Provincials, Handball, and uh, a lot of other events. So make sure you check out the website for all the information at www.lrsd.tv. LRSD TV, connecting the community. We're underway here in the second set. Good net presence by Derek Feasy there to score the first point. As we get early into the second set, they'll bring you the top 10 boys, high school volleyball student athletes. We've alluded to some of them, but here's your total list of top 10 players. At number one, Sam Ludwig from Westgate. Number two, his teammate, Rowan Cron. Number three, setter from Glenlawn Collegiate, Tristan Arnold. Number four is Jordan Hepner from Steinbach Regional. Number five, Dylan Martins, playing here tonight from Westgate. Number six, Lachlan McLean from Sturgeon Heights. Number seven, John Obi from Transcona Collegiate. Number eight, Jack Gard. Number nine, his brother Luke Gard, both from St. Paul's High School. And rounding out the top 10, Thomas Kiesman from Dakota Collegiate. With honorable mentions to Aiden Ruska from Sturgeon Heights, Ude Chata from Vincent Massey, Winnipeg, Aiden Labossi from College Jean Sauvé, Harrison N from Westgate, and Hunter uh, Jacobucci from Sturgeon Heights. Easy with the uh, three pass over, good net present. Top 10 points, or top 10 players, sorry. Points coming uh, Massey's way, four to one right now, off some good serving and uh, net play. Um, putting the ball back down on the, the Westgate side of things and uh, they find themselves ahead. And I don't think, Grant, that they uh, obviously would have liked to come away and with a win in the first set. But, uh, I don't think overall they would be that disappointed with that first set. No. They showed a lot of really great stuff. Yeah. And, uh, and Westgate uh, you know, had the, the day two played well, obviously, winning the set, but uh, a, good, a good start to this match overall. Both teams uh, passing well off the serve so that the, uh, the setters, you know, uh, you know, able to spread the ball around, keep the front rows honest. As we said, that's really important for Mass to be able to run the middle so that they can get some uh, singles on the outside. Martin with a couple big swings off these last locations. One in the front row, he bounced it, and then that one off the tape and hands out of bounds. Yeah, he's uh, he had good swings in the first, but really yeah. this, this second set, he's uh, uh, come alive a little bit more. Easy with the tip, Neufeld with the dig up. Rowan Cron does not leave anything in the tank on any swing. <laughs> he did a good job. You can see him in the air, and Massey, to their credit, did a great job. Yeah. Not getting used off that first shot off of the block and out. They were solid. They went up straight and brought the bat ball back, and uh, now they're serving. Up 5-3 here in the second set. Yeah. Great set there. Gets a single. Torres <laughs> <laughs> there with a big smile. Yeah, he goes, face. you know. What am I going to do? Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of real estate on a single block with uh, him swinging from the other side. Yeah. <laughs> there he ends back to serve. Carlson with the pass. Darius White coming inside. Allowed him to uh, Dylan really lean yeah. into it for yeah. sure. White with the pass. Uwe Chata with the uh, good cross body shot back to one to score. Yeah, he's not intimidated at all. No, there. he's intimidating. He, he's, yes. uh, you know, I think he likes that shot to one, and when that the ball is there and he has that shot, it's going to be really, really difficult to stop. with the first contact. Chatter with the cutback off of Neufeld's hand on the touch. Yeah. Nice job by Torres coming in handling that uh, yeah. free ball and able to execute. 
those are other little things that uh, until you've you know been there and, and played that game a little bit, you don't realize how tough it is to a short ball behind the setter's head. Sam Ludwig back to serve. So if that name sounds familiar, it should. His dad's been involved with the national program, was coach of the national women's team for an awful lot of years, and then he's now uh, the head coach of the Bison men's program. Yeah, there's a couple familiar names there yes. on, uh, on Westwood's bench, for sure. Somehow, uh, Dylan yeah, Stone Jules managed to Crawls his way onto the end of the bench there. It's one Sex. way to get into uh, watch your kid play. Some second generation uh, players here with uh, Sam Ludwig and Dylan Martins and others throughout the day. Big Chata for a point. One on one block, and then uh, you got all of that one. Earlier, how right. Lorianne had been and working with them from grade seven on, and now uh, with the uh, work that Mike Westwood has done, really pushing these guys to become even better. Clearly, they're great players, but uh, in it, sometimes it looks like, oh, they're great players, and yeah. they're going to get it done, but that doesn't just happen. So, yeah, that too. That great thing is to uh, yeah. how to bring them to the next level, and clearly, they're doing a great job of that. And both these left sides, Carlson and uh, Darius White, are not backing off no. on uh, on the Massey side of the net. Like, they're bringing it. Yeah. No, they're great players as well, and that's why we're sitting in a, a, a close final yeah. when you have uh, number one playing number seven and you're in close matches. It's uh, yeah. for good reason. from up here the ball came by pretty quick they do have a lines yeah. person on there so they usually are pretty good at it. we're getting the slow-mo on the uh, on the highlights <laughs> there but they cut it up just Kenzie with the deep serve there, taken by Torres. Oh boy. Yep. Yep, Newfell's just not, uh, they're not sealing the top of the net and it's just uh, blowing his hands back. Frustration here with uh, with Newfield, his body language. So his buddies come over and say, "You know, we got you. Yeah, We're still he, here." I don't think he had the height on that set yeah. that he wanted, so he didn't get the approach. And uh, many more to come, though. I'm, oh yeah, I'm sure. Well, McQueen went after that one, and they know Massey knows where they can't just put the ball in play and then rely on, on their block when there's that much on the other side of the net. So exactly. that's what you got to do. It's just part of the game at this stage. Good pass by White. He's going to go back to Carlson. Good dig there by Cron. Ludwig thought he had him on the pipe, but he, uh, oh. <laughs> well, they served that one up, but yeah. they a little over Zell's yeah. way. And uh, yeah. he's not going to squeak away with that one. And, uh, yeah. Good luck to serve looking at that. Here he ends his eyes were uh, dinner plates, so he just, uh, yeah. yeah. A little over eating on that one. Yeah. I don't know if that was by design or if that was just an inside set, but uh, yeah. uh, Martin did a good job of getting to that ball and uh, making good of it for sure. Yeah. The advantage of being 6'6 six, six in that first step, and you can get to that inside route. <laughs> Yeah, 6-6 six, six has a lot of advantages yeah. when, you're, when you're up at the net. So I hear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a little left-handed. Yeah, they worked on that one. Like they're putting those. 
Thought he might have had. He just a little outside line on that one. Uh, oh, we saw Martins in the, in the back row. Right there. Yeah. Lots of time to get outside and get a good swing in that one. Good pass there by Keeson. Again, great net presence on defense by uh, Harry Inns. Good conversion there by Fiji. That was a tough ball to hit. Yeah, you have to come around there. Yeah. They still ran the 50. It was out of, out of the 51 zone, but they still ran the 51, which uh, yeah. changed the angle on the defensive side of things. And, uh, Got his shoulders turned around and able to swing on it. Yeah. Massey's able to maintain this two-point lead here as we get into the back half of the set. Great dig there by Martins off a uh, off-speed shot. Uh, and Massey had the, the, had the positioning there uh, mm -hmm. that they wanted on the block, but their hands just didn't get over to penetrate. And uh, with that much velocity coming there, the, yeah. uh, that's, that's all the room that, uh, that Cron needed to be able to score. Yeah, it's not point. just good enough to have the hand there. you got to be braced and, and uh, penetrate. That's the kind of pace they're putting on these. McQueen in a good spot there. Yeah. Uh, no. Seen or heard. Torres has uh, done a good job on the service line. He's missed a couple, but when they have gone, he, they've been pretty flat and pretty solid. Yep. We got the uh, favorable tape shot on that one. Yep. Take by Martins. That's a good swing attack there by Jonas McKenzie. Yeah, yeah that was a nice set because it was it wasn't too jammed up at the at the net, giving uh, McKenzie a chance to see yeah. the block and execute the position one. Good kick there by Keeson. Scores on the swing on one side and then a block on coming back the other way. So. Ludwig's been really consistent on his jump serve today. Got yeah. good velocity and he's yeah. putting in the deep court. Yeah. Out of there with uh, yeah. the nice, nice management when he took the second touch. Nice shot to score for Massey. Yep, 18-16 uh, here in the second set. Darius White is the, probably the least tall, if that's the way to phrase it, but uh, he's uh, a very efficient hitter out there. He's uh, moving the ball around the block and off the block. Yeah, he's doing a good job. face he knows what's going to happen when he touches the ball good pass by Keith in there great, uh, great selection yeah. great set selection because you had uh, Chatter running on a 60 which brought all the blockers over there and left, uh, a one on one situation outside for Carlson and Derek Creasy back in the front row which means that Uday Chad is back on the service line Great dig there by Darius White. Oh, Ryan Torres is going. What happened to my hand? I, yeah, he, <laughs> there's no top spin. He hit more wrist than he did hand, yep. and he knows it. Yep. But, uh, great dig there, too. Oh, boy. Yep. I think that was, uh, was that Darius White that had that yep. dig? I think yep, so. It was. Yeah, that was a great one. <clears throat> Got the single. Oh. 
So close, great effort. Great effort. But another good set selection there by uh, Cole McQueen. He got the ISO on the outside here yeah, for uh, Carlson. And, and people watching uh, at home, you know, mom, dad, aunts, uncles, uh, grandmas, grandpas <laughs> who might not uh, um, fall off the way they're getting a chance to watch on, on TV. You know, that kind of stuff is, is not, you know, just random. It's on purpose. They're, yeah. they're running uh, these middles fast and behind setters to be able to open up the outside. So once you start to see those little tactics of the game yeah. here, it gets uh, pretty impressive. Yeah. Massive, massive job of that. And that is the Much reason more, why they've been yeah. able to, to create this two-point gap, and you see it in, the, in our replays there. Middle again, really forcing those blocks. To well, much to more, stop them. much more energetic uh, offense from Massey in, uh, in this match. You know, certainly then that'll then be brought out with the final, and then the semi. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll see. Uh, see if Westgate makes a bit of a move here. They brought it within one. Martin's back to serve right yeah. now. Serve taken by Tyson there. Good dig there by Guan. Yeah. Not that tall, but I know he's 6'2", but he can stand beside uh, yeah. Harry Enns and Lidwood there. Speaking of which, that was uh, there was no ball. No. Real estate to hit. I don't think you saw any court there. It was <laughs> no. Over. That, was in the, uh, that was in the forest, that one. Yeah, well, there he goes. <laughs> and I wonder how they'll respond here. And, yeah. Uh, there you have it. They're now Westgate finds themselves up 22-21 uh, right now. Exactly. Okay, let's make sure. Uh, okay, we're see if we can get a little slower serve here and get up, get move up and get our hands on it. Okay, we'll run uh, high ball outside. Oh yeah, we'll run a 31 here and then we got Rye on the back set, right? Okay, 31. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, if if we get if they if they happen to dig the ball and get it transitioned back, we got to get back into our spots. Cole, you got to keep your hands down in position one. Okay, we're gonna have to dig one. And let's see if we can dig it up with some height so that we have some time, right? You made a good read picking that ball up. Just play it up higher. Everything got really rushed there. Okay? Okay, here we go. Come on. Here we go. We're fine. We're fine. Well, it'll be good to see Grant uh, if they get the opportunity. You know, and what uh, Marshall wants to see is them to be able to be, uh, hopefully have their middle, have Harry ends uh, follow the middle on uh, on the Massey side. So they want to see, run Fezium uh, in the front right now. Yep. And him running a 31 to be able to release a back set to Torres. Let's yeah. see if they can uh, manage that. Good pace with the uh, front row backing off. Uh, they got the result they yeah. wanted. Yeah. Passed and allowed them quite to be able to run that offense, but they're back now 22 all. Back to, to serve now. Another timeout by Coach Marshall. See if they can. Yeah, that ball was tight to, tight to the yeah. net. I think Massey was looking for a call. And in the end, uh, didn't get it there, so they'll find themselves down by uh, a couple serve. here. Move up a little bit. Okay, we've kind of let a couple easy ones go with some average passes there. Okay, then just take deep breath, relax, move your feet, get around the ball. Okay, pop it up a little higher if we can. Okay, take a good swing, get a big guy up again. Let's go 31 again here, and then we got Rye on the back set. Or sorry, 31 here again. Okay, and then we got the back set. Uh, 
Same, same sort of strategy. So let's see if Rinse can, and repeat. Yeah, well, we'll see if we can get yeah. that in here just to show what, what it looks like. Yeah. For uh, each other to be going on the 30 and see if we can get isolation on the back side. And they do. Oh, they do. Good block by uh, Ryland Torres, but yeah, that's exactly the execution they were looking for off the pass. Yeah. yeah. Oh, coach is going, I need to sub him. So coming in for Vincent Massey is number four. That's Jonathan Krentz. Looking for a little, a little bit, bit of block. height on uh, on the block. So uh, Cole McQueen is out. I don't know that he's going to go over to the right side or not, but we'll see. Yeah. Yep. Oh, oh no, they're going to uh, do this. We got a chunk of it, but uh, not enough in that yeah. case. Yeah, good, good attempt there, yep. and uh, good job for Westgate to come back in that set by a few points down a lot of the way through that set, but uh, showing good poise and uh, experience to be able to uh, pull it out. The yeah, so Westgate takes a uh, lead going into the uh, third set. Who's getting his fill of some classic cactus cut nachos next to some hockey fans that just saw a nasty OT winner? Boston Pizza. Enjoy some. What? Look at that guy. Just having a soak, eh? Eh, you do you. Enjoy some old fall favorites and some new ones, however you like, at Boston Pizza. Well, if you want to uh, listen to the best music from the last 30 years, plus news, sports, and weather, not only do they do volleyball games, you can also listen to LRSD Radio. The student radio station is on 24 hours a day, and you can listen online at www.lrsdradio.ca or download the app for your iPhone or Android device. Again, LRSD Radio, connecting the community. Awesome stuff. If you happen to step away to uh, dive into that Boston pizza that you maybe ordered uh, as this uh, match started uh, and didn't uh, catch the announcement by our in-house announcer, just wanted to, uh, again, big thanks to the uh, the convener here for this 4A Girls and Boys Championships, Ryan Vermette from uh, Sturgeon Heights. Not only has he been uh, getting ready over the course of last weekend hosting the girls here at Sturgeon Heights, but... Uh, uh, their partner school over or the member of the Winnipeg West Athletic Conference who uh, is ultimately the uh, the host conference over at St. Paul's with the boys uh, but Ryan was also coaching the uh, Surgeon Heights girls so he's had a full plate I'm sure he will sleep well uh, tonight and uh, get reacquainted with uh, the rest of his uh, life uh, the rest <laughs> of his life over the next uh, few days but again thanks to uh, Ryan and all those that have supported him in uh, putting on this uh, great championship with these uh, students athletes have been so longingly waiting for so it, again, it has a different feel with no uh, no yeah. fans in the stands and uh, a little bit different protocols but uh, again so great to have 
yeah. the opportunity to compete for these guys uh, and girls here this in these championships that are going on this weekend. Here, not just here, but at yeah. all levels. Yeah. Like we said, there's been uh, you know a lot of playoffs happening, and now it's the uh, the final weekend for high school volleyball at all categories. A, double A, triple A. You know, and while they're down to nothing, I would think that uh, Coach Jones and uh, the rest of the coaching staff would be happy with uh, how resilient his team's been and digging in and, you know, forcing the West Gate to see, you know, what kind of uh, mindset they have. They were down there for that second set, so there's been some lead changes. And at the end of the day, they're going to have to uh, dig just a little bit deeper here in the third set to extend this championship match. Not a lot of errors happening on the West no. side of things. There hasn't no. been these first two sets. You know, no. Even though they were down by a couple points, they yeah. were uh, both teams were just executing at a high level, and uh, they continue to do that right now. Yeah. Good digs there by. Uh, yep, back to back. Yep. That was his point. That that uh, was yeah. there for sure. Yep. Just uh, didn't miss quite much. No. Just not on the top third yet, and uh, just out the back door. set there by McQueen and they are able to convert it. They'll take it. Yep. Probably could have used another couple inches of height on that set, but uh, as they say in golf cam, no pictures on my scorecard. No. So. Good. Yeah. That's a big matchup at the net too. Yeah. And ends going one on one with uh, Chata right now, and uh, managed to sneak away with that point. Good pass. Into the middle of the pond there, and uh, yeah, he's smiling about it too because <laughs> yeah. he knows that he got the point, but it wasn't really with the authority. <laughs> No. Again, he'll take it. We'll reset there and uh, refocus at the net. Oh, a little lucky off uh, the top of the tape there for Ron and Torres. He, uh, I don't know, he's done it a couple times. Yeah. I think he's <laughs> he got it dialed in. Good to be lucky. Yeah. yeah. Good read there by White, recognizing the tip and gets inside. Yeah, there's a couple there where. <laughs> fairly sizable wall. Yeah. I don't even think he could have wiped that off no. or tipped it if he, no. uh, even if he wanted to. So that was uh, between the rock and the hard place on that one. A little short arm swing, but uh, he able to find the long part of the court and score it off that. Yeah, Tyson did a good job handling a tough serve there. They made that all possible, so a good job for the uh, Vincent Tied it up with five all here. There. Yeah. He's, he, he's not letting it up at nope. any time. That, that set was off the net a little bit and uh, still took a nice uh, nice swing at it, which is what this team had to do to be successful in this West Cape in this last set. Good reach there by Martin. Good pancake, but uh, just not high enough off of Torres' hand for McQueen to pick it up.
Uday Chad is looking for an under the net call, but uh, nothing to be had. No. Leeson did a good job again on a, on a tough serve there, the way back there, hitting, yeah. hitting that ball hard, and uh, Leeson did a good job. And really at least a two. And it happened so quick, but I really don't think Sam was under the net. They were both on the center line, which, you know. He made an athletic play. Though. Yeah. A rare miss, and uh, that puts uh, Chada back to be able to uh, serve at 7 all. So I was just thinking, Cam, you know, so we get the privilege of getting a call every once in a while from uh, the principal, Brian Cameron at ATC, or Ken to see if we're available to do these broadcasts, and we're more than happy to do it. And you know, we think about the end of an era tomorrow with the uh, Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Four, 47 years of Mr. Bob Irving calling the, calling the Bomber game. Yeah, wow. Yeah. And not just going on game days, but practice every day. What a what a career he's had. Uh, he is a, and you know, for him to go up on the uh, the Ring of Honor tomorrow at the last home game uh, this year, uh, pretty special moment for him and his family. And congratulations to Bob Irving, the voice of the Bombers. Well played by Cole there. Good hustle by Thiessen to come in and play it. I'm not sure if my uh, broadcasting career puts me on the same uh, kind of. <laughs> Mantle to be able to consider over being a, a, a broadcasting cue exactly at this point. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 probably, yeah, not even acquaintance, but uh, yeah. no, everybody started somewhere, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> nice ISO set there. Good pace. Good play all around. Yeah. A great swing by Carlson and a nice, a nice dig too. Really. Yeah, he's I in mean, the right spot. Just yeah. uh, would have been perfect. Yeah. And then as we've uh, seen throughout the day here, when the ball does hit the ceiling, some of the whatever this is, yeah. foam, acoustic foam, or <laughs> yeah, something I guess like that. It's kinda, acoustic ceiling. Yeah. yeah. It uh, kind of drifts down onto the floor and yeah, do so a little had, cleanup. Uh, the lines people do it now. Uh, yeah. Captain Sam Sammy Ludwig is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hands. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Gets a round of applause from the boys on the bench. Yeah. Nice pass there by Ron. Yes, that's a nice play. You know, the difficulty of that was kind of hidden by how smooth they made it look there, but uh, he was setting that jump setting past the attack yeah. line, and uh, clearly they practiced a lot, and they played a lot together, because that well, connection with Harry, then jumping, just trusting the ball's going to be there, and then making it happen, uh, really impressive play. Well, just uh, the patience and the skill for that body come all the way across his body, and then continue going instead of like attacking and cutting it off. Yeah, early. Now Martin's going across his body there. Yeah. Maybe over rotating just a little bit. Ten all here in this uh, this third set. Massey trying to push it to a fourth, and yep. uh, Westgate trying to end it here. going here and extended. Uday <laughs> Chad is going to put the exclamation point on that to 11 point for Vincent Massey. <laughs> this is what Massey has to do as well, is just you know, test them a little bit and uh, push back a little bit. Yeah. Chad taking a little bit, a couple of words from uh, the first official here just to keep it on his side and keep it, yeah. <laughs> keep it calm, but uh, I don't think that's going to stick too long. back to serve here again. Good 
good heads up play there by uh, Uday in the middle. I was just checking the uh, MHSAA 4A past winners, and so Westgate does have their name. They're a 3A school by category, but uh, with this group they've had, they've uh, felt that they've uh, won a challenge the bigger schools, as they say. But they do have their name on the provincial championship at the 4A level. It's uh, back in 1978, Westgate won the, uh, the 4A. Okay. That may have actually been, I don't know, I, don't know, I, don't know, I can't remember when it was classification, but it's still before my time, so. <laughs> so it's before your time, then. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Cam? Well. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 1978. Yeah. yeah. But they certainly have had uh, a good run over the years at the three level, without uh, without a doubt. So, uh, and then Massey, they are uh, you know looking to extend this match and see if they can uh, manage to find their way into the record books for the first time with the Vincent Massey boys. Good pass by Ryan Torres there. Bing bang. Ball still in play. It's going to come out here to Darius White. And recognize that that big block was already set on him. Good kick there by Keeson. Oh. He's finding ways Just to a, score yeah. in the middle. You know? like yeah. He's looking for that attack when he doesn't have it. He's able yeah. to still uh, keep it in play and manage to score a few points off that. I'm sure they'd like a little bit cleaner connection yeah. so that he can hit with power, but they'll take the point. 13-0. Yeah, it was out. Yeah, that was out, and that was just missed by a few inches, yeah. but uh, it was up really high on that one. Got the touch on that one, so serve back to Westgate, 14 all, Sam Ludwig on the service line. I didn't see that, but there was not a lot of arguments on nope. the uh, Massey side of things, so. Yeah. 14 all. Yeah, there was a little again. bit of. He's definitely going for that that mm -hmm. shot over the over the setter and off of uh, off of Chada. He sure has been consistent with that uh, spin serve today. Yeah. Another example there of being able to run a, a quick middle and and keep the Westgate block in the middle and uh, have isolation outside. Deep and drops right on the back line over the top of uh, Guan. So, yeah, that conflict zone between uh, five and six or one and one and six, mm -hmm. but on that back part of the line where they're not reaching out in front, but they got to decide, you know, at their at their hip where that ball is going to be is uh, is tough. Do you see on that side? Yeah. Right there, they might hit the spot, but short and um, Barnes had to make a great pass on it. They were still able to more or less be in system. Good swing off of hands by Kwan. Oh, a little bit of an X there. Inside set with uh, Carlson. You don't see that very no. often. No. Basically a 53 on the inside. Good serve from McQueen. Yeah. He definitely got up on that one and uh, leaned into it. Yeah, there was uh, <laughs> not a lot of opposition there. We'll see on the uh, replay here. One on one block on the inside set. Uh, it's not going to be too many times that uh, Dylan's going to miss that one. Yeah. Good effort there by Cole to make that save. Yeah, he's going to get a short time, short hits coming yeah. out. Jonas McKenzie back to serve. Three ball given to the wings. 
They're going to go in the middle with Harrison. Good dig there by Darius White. Little shoulder pass by Ludwig. Off the hands. Yeah, Good again, Feezy going hard. Yeah. Hold that block. Freeze the block and be able to execute outside. Yeah. and uh, save it and kill it with the left hand. Yeah. Chest pass there by Juan. Good deep high. Yeah. High, hard, deep, yeah. Great spot. by Harry there. Saw the angle come in, just took a half step to his right. and uh, Yeah, when that middle player is coming from behind the setter like uh, Feezy is right now, you take away that position one and uh, that's what happened there. Again, been very impressed with uh, the job that uh, Darius White and uh, Luke Carlson have done. They've uh, found ways in, around, through, over the block. Yeah, All right. He was showing cross court there, and then a little bit down the line, and uh, he had the defense moving in for a tip or a roll, and was able to score. Subs coming in. So for Westgate, coming in, that's uh, Cruz Carrera. Seen that set? Uh, no, not as a first choice. No. I don't think so. That's okay. They'll uh, they'll regroup. Oh, yeah. and then go back there and try and uh, take the lead for his uh, Westgate team. Oh. I'd say the setter maybe got away with one there, <laughs> but that's the result Westgate was looking for. Up 21-20 now. The first time we've been out for uh, in the lead here for a while. Westgate up 21 20. We'll see if they're going to bring us into the Vincent Massey timeout. Okay, Looks okay like hey, we will. got a shorter serve here, so we got to be able to react to it and move up. Okay, so mo take a step forward or be prepared to move. We're getting a little tired looking right now, so we don't want to get stationary. Okay, we got to move our feet. Okay, we got to make sure that our position six guys stay deeper. We're getting, we're not getting beat in front of us very often. We're getting beat behind us. Okay, so we got to keep those guys, keep that guy back there and control the ball, especially if we get a good two-man block. Okay, okay, hey, let's see if we can pass the ball here. Let's let's get it. What do we got running on here? Forty. Forty. Yeah. Okay, let's run a thirty-one here, a back set. Okay, and a high ball outside. That was a really smart attack last one, okay? Okay, here we go, come on. So, so we're gonna look at the same kind of offensive uh, scheme here coming out of the time mode as we did last time. Yeah. Again, just to try and pull the two of the blockers out to the left side and then get a one-on-one -on -one for uh, Torres on the back side here ideally is what they're after, I think. Pass, there we go. Good dig by Glenn in the back row. Martin's deep corner to one. Well, they had the one-on-one uh, -on -one they were looking for. They weren't able to quite score on that one. But they executed. Good heads up by Uday Chata there. Keeping active at the net. Yeah, good job by uh, Dylan too. A good serve coming in, a second effort on that down ball. <laughs> yeah, 
coming out of that two position. Yeah, really fast yeah. and uh, didn't hang in the air there at all. You know, he didn't leave anything off of that spot. Yeah, you can see there on the, uh, on the replay that he had the uh, lane that he was looking for to attack. <laughs> he bounced that one, as they say. Yeah. 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 His left side's running just outside of that 31 and uh, had no block there, so that's fun when, as a hitter. Yeah. So I've been told. <laughs> so we have. Uh, okay, on a good pass, yeah. Let's just worry about our receiver first. Okay, we got. Uh, you're in the front. Yeah. Okay. Let's make sure, yeah. High ball side, let's run a good 51 or 40, like 51, 41, okay. And then you gotta be ready on the D ball here, okay? Hey, hey, and if the ball goes over and they dig it, we gotta get back into our spots, get back into our bunch right away. Okay, ball probably come to 13 here again. Okay, come on, here we go. Come on, right over yet, guys. Good upbeat timeout, you know, you're looking at a 24, 21 in, yeah. the, in the third set, but uh, he's upbeat and uh, uh, I think they they want to run Chata on not a straight up 51, but slightly yeah. over to make, give him a little bit of room with that. Uh, get a separation, yeah. So we'll see if they can execute that. Possible here. championship point here on the line for the Westgate Wings. Off the block, Martins makes the dig. It's going to go to Cron. Yeah. And he puts it to bed. Yeah. Congratulations to the Westgate Wings on winning their first since 1978. So that's 43 years. Congratulations to the coaching staff, Maya Westwood and Lorianne Swaski, Jules Martins, and the players and the whole team over at Westgate. Yeah, they've put in a lot of time over yeah. a lot of years, and I mean, they, like I said before, they look like a, they are a great polished team, but uh, you know, that came through a lot of work over the years, yes. for sure, and, uh, and a big shout out to Massey too, who really showed yeah. up and uh, uh, challenged, uh, made for a great final uh, here tonight. Yeah, really, uh, you know, they dug in and uh, played a heck of a match, and uh, you know, they talked about it, they needed, if they were going to compete tonight, they had to be through their middles, and uh, you know, Chata and uh, Derek Feezy certainly gave it everything they had. Which opened up the uh, possibility for White and Tors on the outside, and, uh, and Carlson. Carlson, so all around good play by both sides, so congratulations to both teams. So. We've got the awards presentation, so we'll have some uh, all-stars. So we'll turn it over to the house announcer, and we'll make some notes, and then we can uh, give you that recall after if you happen to step away or don't catch the announcements. So stay tuned, folks, and thanks for staying with us here on LRSD.TV and joining us for the Boston Pizza MHS AA 4A Boys Provincial Championships, which was just won by the Westgate Wings. And earlier tonight, it was the... J.H. Bruns. Bruns, I should know that. <laughs> J.H. Bruns Broncos that uh, won their first ever. So a night of first, which is kind of neat to be part of. Yeah, yeah, lots of fun. All those teams there played a great day of yeah. volleyball here in Sturgeon Heights yeah. Collegiate. And again, thanks to uh, to Ryan Vermette, if you're uh, still with us. He's the one over in the, uh, the red shirt with the uh, Huskies logo on it. He is the department head, the varsity girls coach, and the convener. So... And I think he even saw him on the broom, so he pretty much does it all around here, yep. I think, Cam. Yep. Yeah, putting in a lot of time, that's yep. for sure. It takes a whole... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm good. First, we'd like to congratulate both teams on an excellent performance. Uh, the MHS AA would like to thank Boston Pizza for the tremendous support for this, uh, of this championship. They would also like to recognize the following corporate partners for uh, sponsoring the championship awards. The Dairy Farmers of Manitoba, Manitoba Credit Unions, and Manitoba Hydro. To begin the uh, to begin the uh, tonight's awards, we would like to recognize the Players' Choice Award, which is selected by the athletes participating in this championship. This year, the players have chosen Luke Carlson Vincent, from Vincent Massey, Winnipeg.
Now, uh, <clears throat> and now we'd like to name our uh, the all-star team for this for this championship. First, uh, for from Steinbach, Jordan Hepner. And from college, Jean Sauvé, Daniel Wilson. From the Westgate Wings, number eight, Nolan Grone. Also from Westgate, number 13, Rowan Cron. From Vincent Massey, Winnipeg, number 11, Luke Carlson. From Vincent Massey, Winnipeg, Cole, number one, Cole McQueen. This year's most valuable player from the Westgate Wings, number 14, Sammy Ludwig. And now let's congratulate tonight's teams. Would the captains of the Vincent Massey Trojans come up to accept their fi MHSAA finalist banner? And now, and now we'd like to ask each of these players to please come up and accept their silver medals. Number 11, Luke Carlson. Number 14, Udhe Chatha. Number 15, Derek Fizi. Number two, Ben Goyot. Number four, Jonathan Krantz. Number seven, Ethan Mariano. Number 12, Kieran McKee. Number one, Cole McQueen. Number eight, Robert Paytons. Number five, Jared Pua. Number 10, Caleb Thiessen. Num number nine, Rylan Tors. Number 13, Trace Vergara. And number eight, Darius White. Assistant coaches, Sam Rudy. Daniel Nadu and Ethan Singh and head coach Mr. Marshall Jones. Congratulations Vincent Massey. Now we'd like to ask the captains of the Westgate Wings to come up and accept the championship banner
We'd also, we'd also like to ask the following players to please come up and accept their championship t-shirts and gold medals. Number 28, Mika Dick. Number 12, Caleb Friesen. Number 16, Logan Harms. Number 18, Will Segal. Number two, Carter Segal. Number nine, Cruz Carrera. Number five, Dylan Martins. Num number eight, Nolan Gron. Number six, Caleb Neufeld. Number 17, Jonas McKenzie. Number 22, Harry Enns. Number 13, Rowan Cron. And number 14, Sammy Ludwig. <laughs> Assistant coach, Lorianne Ludwig. <laughs> and head coach, Maya Westwood. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations, Westgate. Congratulations on a wonderful high school season, everybody. Thank you. Well, that wraps up this year's Boston Pizza Manitoba High School Athletic Association 4A Provincial Boys Champions Championships. Congratulations to the Westgate Wings and full credit to the Vincent, Master, Vincent Massey Trojans for uh, their performance today and over the course of uh, the season. So, uh, Cam, final thoughts on today's championship? Well, it's been a great day. And like we said, it's been great to be able to have this championship here after uh, a long time, uh, it seems, away from uh, being able to be in a gym and competing for a championship like this. So. Uh, like you said, uh, you know, full credit to both teams and uh, all of them that are out here this this weekend playing in all the different championships. But uh, great team that uh, walked away with the championship uh, tonight. And, uh, and congratulations as well to, to Vincent Massey, who uh, also played very well uh, across the board. Uh, and it was a lot of fun to, to be a part of. So thanks, folks, for joining us here on LRSD.TV. And uh, keep st stay tuned with... Uh, at www.lrsd.tv for other uh, upcoming uh, coverage of uh, events within the Louis Earl School Division, but across the MHSAA sports spectrum over the course of the year. And thanks to Ryan Vermette, as we said earlier, uh, for taking on the convenership on behalf of the uh, Winnipeg West Athletic Conference and to his crew and to Boston Pizza for their longstanding uh, support, Dairy Farmers with the, uh, the awards and all the other uh, sponsors that uh, make MHS AA Provincial Championships, the events that they are for these student athletes. We are really grateful for uh, the continued uh, support of everybody. So with that, we will uh, turn our mics off and uh, wish everyone safe travels. And uh, thanks for joining me, Cam. It's been a fun as usual. So we'll stay tuned to uh, what's coming up next, folks. Good night, everybody. Good night.